I didn't get the uh, memo that the players were supposed to be speaking, but I think you guys, you heard from uh, Caleb and Ryan earlier. Maybe that was uh, enough improv for one night, maybe. <laughs> no, okay. Um, anyways, I just want to start off by recognizing this fellow down at the end right here. Um, Pinocchio is blessed to have Mr. McLeod. Uh, I'm personally getting a little long in the tooth, and I can confidently say that I've never met an athletic director, coach, and mentor that gives so much of himself um, to student athletes, to his school, to his community. He's an amazing, amazing person. I'm, I'm not done, sorry. Uh, he's out running at 7 a.m. in the morning with these kids. He doesn't even have to play senior high sports, and he's out running. Um, he's revitalized our boys' volleyball program here, got started again. He's a badminton coach extraordinaire. Um, he leads a team of coaches and athletes for track and field. He, he does it all. And then if that wasn't enough, this year, he had the audacity to come to me and ask if he could help coach basketball. Unbelievable. The nerve of this guy. He is truly, no, I'm not done. He is truly incredible, and though he would not admit it, uh, he shares a piece of the credit for every success in this room tonight. So please help me in saying a big thank you to Mr. McCall. Desjardins, a fantastic young man that absolutely understands community commitment and follow through. I've worked with a lot of high school uh, basketball players that want to come back and help coach and put that time in while they're still playing, and it doesn't usually go that well. It's usually tough to balance both. Never, ever, never have I had a coach as committed as Coach Dom. Uh, he did not miss practice ever unless he had basketball of his own, and he communicated with us always about that. He traveled with us to away games, he came to tournaments, and on top of that, we gave him the absolute worst jobs at practice. Like whatever the worst awful running the pack, like all the time. We gave him those jobs and he kept coming back. So I'm just so proud to have the chance to get to work with this young man and get to know him, and I have nothing but the highest regard for him. So if you could thank him as well, I appreciate it. Now, this team, this is a fantastic team to work with. Uh, the first thing I want to say actually is a thank you to Mr. Ronnie and Mr. Topham and, and the coaches before, uh, before I got here that left us with just incredible, incredible foundation to build from and five incredible leaders on this team that all played. I just want to recognize those guys first, uh, Mr. Ethan Yalmans, Mr. Brock Rain, Mr. Diamond Johnson Bull, Mr. Truce Cardinal, and Mr. Ryan Williams. So those guys set the tone for our team right from the very first practice. They are lead by example guys. Uh, they're among the most committed and hardest working players that I've ever had the opportunity to work with. So uh, just very proud of them. And, and they set a standard of excellence for this team that uh, the coaches can't set on their own. So a huge shout out to those guys. Um, the next thing, we, I made this joke when we came on the stage, but this is a team that was absolutely marred by injury. So at our first tournament in December, Mygan, Mygan up there. Mygan's over, where is he? Mygan. There he is, right there. Mygan taught me that you can dislocate a knee. I had no idea that you could dislocate a knee. And then Mygan was like, I dislocated my knee, and I'll tell you what, you can absolutely dislocate a knee, and it is disgusting. It is awful. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that was our first injury, and it just kept going from there. We lost Chase to a broken wrist, James to a broken finger, finger, and Yo-Yo to a dodgy knee twice. Despite the setbacks, this team, this is a team that bent and didn't break, and we said that lots about this team throughout the year. Uh, figuratively, they didn't break. Literally, they broke all kinds of things. Um, we lost our first league game of the year to our crosstown rivals, and it was ugly, okay? Tough moment um, for us in town against our rivals over there. But we just had this group of guys that uh, just wouldn't quit, wouldn't give up. They were up for any challenge. So they embraced the change and had the new coaches this year. Uh, they embraced the work that went with that. Uh, and then they uh, decided not to lose another league game for the rest of the season after that. We faced all kinds of adversity and just continued to fight back. The highlight of the season was heading back to our Crosstown Rivals gym and beating them in the 2J Boys uh, Championship game in their gym. Uh, and by nearly a 40-point turnaround. So we lost to them pretty badly before, and then we beat them 
beat them in their gym at the end of the season, and that was a pretty big highlight for us, to win a man. Unfortunately, it was a little bit downhill after that because the injuries just caught up to us, but we also had a really awesome uh, second place finish in the World League Championships. Uh, we were able to go on to Quajon and represent there, and we got a bronze third place finish at Quajon, which was a, a nice way to wrap up the season. Unfortunately, we finished there with about half the guys that we have here. We had six healthy guys to end the season, but they still were able to finish and get bronze in the third place at Quajon. I'm extremely proud of these guys. Uh, I wish them continued success, and I know they're going to be great at whatever challenges they have from sports and beyond. So please help me in recognizing this wonderful group of young men.